you're going to some sort of country, Mexico, India, Southeast Asia, um, any country maybe other than your own, or you're just traveling across your country, whether it's in the US or Canada, um, and you want to know, what is the best probiotic so I don't get traveler's diarrhea? <laughs> that is a real question. I'm Morgan. I'm a plant-based registered dietitian and yoga teacher, and I post all sorts of videos on nutrition and yoga and wellness. And today, um, and I really love the gut microbiome, so I talk about that a lot. And um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the probiotics for travelers associated with diarrhea. Now, there's actually a considerable amount of research out there, um, and in the studies that are out there, I would say the overwhelming majority of them point towards using Saccharomyces boulardii as the, the strain to help prevent that. Um, so the cool thing is Saccharomyces boulardii is not a, it's not native to the gut, meaning it's not, you know, present, um, but it's actually been helpful in antibiotic associated related diarrhea and even more so with the travelers associated diarrhea. So um, definitely a lot of studies out there and you can find it in multiple, I should say, you can find it in some products. It's not like you know, it doesn't usually mix well with other strains, so it's not always going to be in like a, a broad spectrum antibiotic or antibiotic probiotic. Um, I find it more in some unique ones, um, so like Doctors Next Biotic, uh, Nature's Branch has Saccharomyces boulardii, but the one that has the most evidence-based research to support the the use is Floristore. Um, so this is not endorsed by Floristore. I have no connections to them whatsoever. Um, I've just seen it work really well in my patients, in um, clients, and then also in friends and family. Uh, for example, my dad goes to and from Indonesia all the time. He works over there and uh, he's always taking Floristore and has like the, and since he's, I should say before, he had upset GI stomach back and forth all the time. And this is like, you know, um, multiple times a year he's going back and forth so that's a lot of potential damage to your gut lining and then just you know other issues as well potentially so since taking Floristore he's been totally fine no big deal um, traveling back and forth is easy breezy beautiful cover girl <laughs> um, the other thing is you know I take a lot of trips I take travel a lot and I like to try foods. I really like to try new foods in places and since taking Floristore I've actually had no problems. Same thing with my husband. My husband's father whenever he's been on antibiotics which has been kind of a lot lately totally fine no upset GI stomach um, and then a lot of my patients who have GI issues uh, it's just it's been um, the anecdotal evidence so the evidence that I've seen just in my own use research the people in my circles and then also what the research is showing us is that Floristore has a lot of benefit. It does have more Saccharomyces blurry than some of the other probiotics out there, so I think that's part of it. I like it that it's it's shelf stable. So, you know, the great thing is that when you're traveling, you don't always have like access to refrigeration, and so. The cool thing is that Saccharomyces boulardii um, with Floristore does not need to be refrigerated. There's a couple different options, Floristore, Floristore Max, um, either one, totally fine. It is definitely a little bit more expensive than some of the like super cheap ones you can find at like, your Walmart Target, um, but I think personally that it's very well worth it because if you've ever had a GI, a gut bug from traveling, you know that it is not cool, especially if it's when you get there. So if you get there and you're like, you know, spending three days in your hotel room because you can't go outside, like that's a problem. Um, so by taking a probiotic, it can really help decrease that incidence. And again, I think the best choice for that is without a doubt, Floristore, Saccharomyces boulardii. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, be sure to give me a like, subscribe to catch a new video every week, and I will see you guys soon. Keep it kind.